Hello and welcome to another episode of the Space Update. Coming up on today's show, SpaceX rolls out Booster 4 to the pad, Starliner gets unexpectedly delayed, and more space news. Let's do this. So, launch update. So, on Wednesday the 4th of August, we might see ULA attempt another go for launch with uh, Starliner. Uh, it's 12.57pm local time. Then on Thursday the 5th, we'll have a Long March 3BE launching communication satellites to geostationary orbit. Okay, on to our first topic now, SpaceX. Although a bit quiet on the Starlink launches uh, with Falcon 9, Buck Jig has seen a wave of activity with heat shielding being fitted to various sections of Starship SN20, which is built for that very first orbital test along with Booster 4, which has just rolled out the high bay as we're recording today. Now, Booster 4 has been fitted with 29 Raptor engines for flight, along with those massive grid fins, which are interestingly grouped together in twos on the left and right side of the booster. Um, Elon Musk confirmed this, he said over on Twitter, we'll put that up on screen. Pitch and control requires more force than yaw and much more force than roll. Also, grid fins closer to and the wake of the booster are less effective. However, pretty good aero control can technically be achieved with only two grid fins, with some effect on accuracy. So possibly a learning curve from the many Falcon 9 booster flights that we've seen. Um, it will be incredible to see this static fire with booster 4, never mind the actual fully stacked flight and system and launch and absolutely everything. It'd be absolutely incredible to see. As well as all the excitement with the booster, there's a flurry of activity to get the ground systems all in place for fueling, plus the finishing touches to that orb launch stand. We'll be bringing you much more on this as it comes over on our Twitter page, which is at the Space Update. So make sure you check that. Um, up next, uh, problems with the International Space Station and a special announcement. So don't go anywhere. So if you like to support what we do, head over to patreon.com forward slash total space, gain access to our exclusive Discord community chat with special guests on the show and so much more and you can follow us over on twitter and find us over on totalspace.net that's our website enjoy the show all right we're back uh, the international space station last week the russian module nuka uh bear with me if i'm saying that right uh, accidentally forced the international space station out of place not out of orbit out of place uh rotated it essentially uh, it's been revealed that the event was more serious than NASA initially mentioned. Uh, according to sources, the event has been a little incorrectly reported. The new module from Roscosmos, or Russia if you like, uh, incorrectly fired its thrusters and spun the sta space station one and a half rev revolutions, about 540 degrees before coming to a stop upside down. Um, but that doesn't matter in space because uh, there's no up or down, left or right. So there you go. That's all right then. Um, but uh, the space station then did a 180 degree uh, correction flip. Uh, so it was the correct orientation as it was originally. Uh, so quite an awkward situation now between Ro Roscosmos, Russia, NASA, America and everything with that uh, situation. But it's, the question for me is why was the module allowed to dock knowing that there were potentially major problems with the module it's just crazy uh we may not ever know the full story behind this but it just goes to show how very fragile the international space station really is one misfire and it could be damaged or destroy the international space station but they really did have a look get lucky with this uh, and starliner got pushed back a few days due to this event it was due to launch on a friday then was due to launch uh, today on Tuesday as a recording, but things have gone. It's got delayed another day and everything, but um, it was just exciting to see everything. Now, for those loyal Total Space fans watching in, coming up very soon, our interview with Rocket Lab is in editing and will be out very soon. Uh, we talk all things Photon, missions to the Moon, Mars and Venus and beyond. Uh, definitely don't want to miss this one, guys. Uh, for those watching in, hit that subscribe button and come watch these awesome videos now.